Good evening, everyone. So I'm out in the garden trying to harvest what I can because we're going to get some 32 degree weather. Woo, these mosquitoes. But uh, trying, I got all the peppers I could get. This is my ginger. This is, I think I said lemony basil today, but this is lemony thyme. This smells very good. I'm going to dehydrate that and my peppers. And then I'm going to get these two bell peppers. And I'll try to cover this plant. Um, that's a pretty good size bell pepper. And that one is too. Those are my carrots. I guess I need to try to cover those. Um, come Tuesday and Wednesday. No, this is dead, so I can go ahead and pull that. Ooh, well, I pulled it out. I was intending to cut it at the root, but it's okay. Those are not going to make it. I'm going to try to cover them, but I don't know what's going on with that at the bottom. Anywho. And I cut one of these where well, one fell off the other day. It was actually pretty. pretty oh, I'm about to drop my phone. It was actually pretty good. I think it's ready because this is as dry as the Mojave Desert. So I'm going to cut it. Let it fall. This one too. So if these don't make it, no big deal. But I'm going to try to cover these. Kahari melons and maybe because I think after the 32 degree weather well, it's supposed to get back up to a decent temperature. I went on and cut the asparagus and I will come out here tomorrow and cover that back up and I guess I need to cut the celery. I think these are Kentucky Wonder Beans. And I still have that left. I don't know if I need to harvest all that and just dehydrate it. That's that lemony thyme. But it smells pretty good. And I still got peppers growing up the wazoo. This big, this is one of my, I'm definitely going to try to um, cover this because I got too many peppers on it. It's like the fall, well the fall came in or when we didn't have the 110 degree weather every day. Now it's cooler. The peppers are trying to germinate. My collard greens. And got one more little habanero there. But y'all, this is a. I'm just dropping the phone. This is an eggplant that has eggplants. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cover it to see. Actually, I have like two. There's one. Here's one that's probably not gonna make it, but we're gonna try to save them. Cause I'm gonna cover them up. Actually, I have one growing there too. But anywho, I come and got the bigger tomatoes off the vine, but I still have green tomatoes galore too, as you see. But I don't know if I'll be able to cover this, so I've had a pretty good tomato year, but tomatoes are everywhere. I hate it's getting warm so early, but my cabbages are growing. And that's a collard I planted back in the spring and every time I cut the leaves off they just grow back. Got some pretty good sized leaves on it too. Maybe need to come up here and get those. Here are some um, the greasy collards and I think I put a cabbage in between them. And here's the rest of the collards that I planted. I just threw the seeds out. I guess I think I was I guess I thought I was thinking turnips and these are collards and I'm gonna have to uh, take some of them out and keep the bigger ones but it's okay wish I could find somebody to give some of the little sprouts too but I got collards these are just regular collard greens now what is that I don't even know what kind of plant this is but it has a pepper on it too oh no that's a leaf but anywho I'm going to uh, let's see my gold muscadine vine his leaves are falling off but I think I need to harvest the celery this is my first year growing it had some out in the other thing and 
this is time too. I don't, yeah, I might need to harvest it tomorrow. And this is what? Spearmint and peppermint. Yep. And okra. My sad okra. I didn't do nothing. I'm not harvesting it. I might come out tomorrow and get this curly kale too. But, uh, yeah. And I still got these little sweet 100 tomatoes that I got a very good one off yesterday. And I just eat them right off the van. I don't worry about germs. Where have I dropped it? So. I don't worry about the germs, but we got clusters of tomatoes, so I'll probably just let it go ahead and die and be done with it for the year. I moved some of the collards over here. Oh, I left one out. Oh, well. But I wanted to show y'all my kohlrabi. I have to cover it, too. That's the bell peppers. I think it's one more up here. But I'll cover it. But let me show you how fast this um, honey roaster squash, it went from like zero to like six inches in about three days, it, it appeared. I got as many of these off as I the bigger one, so I'll try to see if I can save it. And now looks like all my ghost peppers are trying to come out on the vine. But uh I got um Brussels sprouts here and here, and I don't know why my husband's trying to mow while I'm trying to video, but my calamundrin now I like them because you can put them in just water. The mosquitoes are biting. And it flavors your water really good. If you like flavor, like putting lemon lime in your water. But it did good this year, so I'll probably take it in the house. Because I don't want to lose that either. But, anywho, I need to go out to that other fig bush. Have you, have you looked at the other fig bush? See if any figs are still on it? Anywho. My elephant ear, my banana plant that I'm going to put it on the north side of the house tomorrow. I mean next year. Pepper plants that didn't anything. I'm going to clean all of that up over there. Probably next weekend doing a trash throwaway. But next year, I will definitely grow this candy roaster. It was a test run just to see how much space it took up. And it takes up a lot of space. So that's two plants. One there. One there. And the one is all over here. So I won't be able to plant any more than about two plants. Because it'll... I guess I need to buy me some more cattle panel. Because it's going to take up a whole bed. And I bought some more beds. So... I need to clean out my strawberry. I start cleaning this thing out once before my strawberry plants. I'm not worrying about it this year. My Kentucky Wonder Beans and Rutabagas. I just did those just to see if they would grow. But that's the update on the garden. Um, I don't know if I need to cover my collards or not, but I don't know. Somebody told me they like frost, but I don't know. If somebody knows... Please let me know uh, if you can. If not, I'm going to come out here and harvest the bigger ones anyway. The bigger leaves. And uh, I do plan to have more beds next year. i got some new things I'm going to grow uh, in these beds next year. But anywho, like, let me show you how big this leaf is. That's my hand. That's a big leaf. I'll come out and get those and wash them and put them in the freezer. Along with some of these little bitty ones. If I need to harvest them before the freeze. Or if I need to cover them. Somebody please, please let me know. And that's the garden update for today. I'm going to go in the house and uh, wash up this, these vegetables I did harvest for today. Get these two little, these little cantaloupes that may be worth eating. Get one today. So yeah, that's it for today. I think I have to let this ginger dry out.
but it smells good. Oh my God, ancestors. But okay, you guys. And I still have not figured out what kind of watermelon this is. I need to go through my seeds. It is the funniest color thing. But the tendril, I think it's ready because the, the watermelon's soft and the little tendril is it's brown. Well, I may just go in and eat it just to see. I think I will. And go see what kind of watermelon this is. Okay, y'all. That's it. Y'all have a good day. Keep gardening and growing. Have a good day.